All right. Now we want to consider this question on probability. Uh, if we are to check, it was uh, question 14, uh, whereby we are given a bag that contains uh, red, blue, uh, green counters. We are given the counters, all of which are identical except for color. Then the first part that we are given is that a counter is picked at random from the bag. Its color is noted and then it is replaced. So take note uh, the type of replacement that is happening here too, which means if a counter is being picked uh, and its color is being noted, then replaced, it means we are dealing with uh, a replacement. So here we are talking about a width uh, a replacement. A width replacement, you are retaining back. So uh, the conditions that we are now given is that the probability that it is red is 0, 0,2. So we are given a probability for this uh, counter, the first part uh, of the counter to uh, of being a red uh, being 0, 0,2. And the probability that is blue is 0, 0,5. And also we are given the probability of being blue, which is uh, 0, 0,5. So this is what we have from our information. And the first part of our question now is to calculate the probability that the counter picked is either blue or green, the counter that we are going to pick. Uh, I want us to understand this uh, concept that we need here. There, there are two options that we could have answered this question. Uh, the first thing that you need to understand is that if we are saying something is either blue or green, and we have got three things that we are considered three colors here. Remember, the colors that we have, we have got red, uh, we have got blue, and we have got green. So we just want to understand the, the simple concept that they are simply saying here. If something is either blue or green, it simply means it's not, uh, it's not uh, red in this case, because we are considering that it must be blue or it must be a green. So it simply means it's not red. It, it can't be red if it is supposed to be either green or what? Or, or, a, or a blue. So meaning to say, you are simply going to find the probability of not in A, this part that they're asking here, the probability of uh, either blue or green in this case, I'm just gonna use B and G, is simply, it simply means the probability not in a, not red in this case, that is what it simply means, not red, because, if it's not red, it means it's it's going to be blue or it's going to be green. So that is the uh, the concept that of this question. And how do you find what is not red? Remember the probabilities here. When all of them are added together, I say they must add up to one. The probability must be add, must be adding up to to one for a complete uh for a complete information that you have. Everything that you are given, it must add up to one. So meaning to say, I can simply find the probability of what is not in what, what is not in red by simply subtracting what is in red from one, because we are saying everything must add up to one. So I can simply subtract what is in red so that I obtain what is not in red. Remember what is in red, it's 0, 0,2. So if we subtract this from one, we are obtaining what is not in red which is going to give us a 0, 0,8. And I'm saying what is not in red, it means it is in a, uh, it must be blue or it must be a, a, a green. All right, so this is the concept that you could have used. Uh, or we could have say this, answering this question direct, we could have answered our question direct because they need the probability of B or G, whenever there's a, a or a, like this, either or, you add the probabilities. Whenever we are talking about either or, you add the probabilities. Whenever there is a both and, you multiply. When you are given both and on that condition, you multiply the probabilities. So here we are dealing with either or. So we are going to add. So they are saying the probability of either blue or green so this was supposed to be the probability of blue plus the probability of green this is the other way that you could have calculated this but if you check on your probabilities the probability 
uh, of blue in this case, we have it, probability of blue, we have it, but we don't have the one for green. So where are we going to have the probability of green? Meaning to say from this information, you are going to use this to find the probability of green. Like I was saying, the probability of everything must add up to one. So it simply means if we add the probability of red, the probability of blue, everything that is given, plus the probability of green, everything that we have, we must get a one. So meaning to say we can find the probability of what is in green if we subtract these probabilities from what? From one, so it's going to be one minus uh, 0, 0,2 minus 0, 0,5. Meaning to say, if we subtract this, that would be 1 minus 0, 0,7, uh, which will be a 0, 0,3 in this case. So meaning to say the probability of what is in green, the probability of what is found in green is going to be what? 0, 0,3. So we can substitute here because we have the probability of what is in blue. And I say the probability of what is in blue are given as 0, 0,5 plus the probability of what is in green, the one that we calculated here, which is 0, 0,3. So if we add this, we are going to obtain 0, 0,8, which is the same as the one that we got on the first place. So that is how we're supposed to answer this question. All right, so probability is not that much. You just need to understand the technique uh, of the question that you're given. Now they are giving us on the item uh, B part to say two counters were being picked at random one after the other with replacement. So again, they are repeating the statement that I was saying before to say when it is being replaced, it means that's a with replacement. Now we are asked to calculate the probability that one is red and the other is blue. All right, we are talking about two counters and it's a with replacement. I said whenever you are dealing with a with replacement, the idea is that these two things are not going to change whenever you're dealing with a with replacement, all right? So this is a with uh, a replacement. So with replacement simply means everything is going back to its original state. Whether you pick five times or you pick seven times, everything will go back to its original state because you are replacing back whatever that you're given. So meaning to say these probabilities, they are going to remain as they are the probability of red, blue, green. For the first peak, for the second peak, they are going to remain as they are. Remember here we are talking about two counters which were being picked. We are talking about two counters being picked. So also we are not even, uh, the tree diagram is not even important, but let's just say you wanted to use the tree diagram uh, concept. This was going to be uh, the branches that we have, remember, we've got red, uh, blue, and the green. These are the colors that we have. So this is our first pick. Remember, we're talking about two counters being picked. So this is the first one. Then we pick the second one. We are going to have uh, the other branches again here, red, uh, blue, and green. From blue, we are going to have the same thing uh, that is going to be uh, red, uh, blue, and green from this one we are going to have the same thing again, red, blue, and green. It does not mean you are supposed to fill in your information and so forth, no, that does not even matter. So what I'm trying to say, it's a with replacement, meaning to say the probability that you started with for red, remember our probabilities here, we know them, red 0, 0,2, blue 0, 0,5, and we calculated the one for green, it gave us 0, 0,3. So meaning to say these probabilities, once you fill them for the first branch, this one, if you are to fill in in the first branch, this one, red, we say this one is given as uh, 0, 0,2 in this case, we've got 0, 0,2, our blue was 0, 0,5 and green was 0, 0,3. Whatever that you have on the first branch, when it is a with replacement, you are retaining back, so red is going to remain with its probability of 0, 0,2. Blue is going to remain with 0, 0,5. Green is going to remain with 0. So uh, there is no need for you to actually draw a tree diagram when you are uh, having a, a width replacement because everything remains as it is, all right? So red again, 0, 0,2. Blue, 0, 0,5. Green, uh, 0, 0,3. So these are now our outcomes after we have picked the first and second counter uh, that we are given. So the outcomes will be red, red, first one. Then we have got red, blue. All right. Then we have got red, green. 
All right, we are done with red. We move on to blue. So it's blue versus red. And we have got blue versus blue in this one. Then we've got blue versus green. So this is blue, green. We are done with blue. We move on to green. So it's green and red, uh, green and red, uh, green and blue, uh, green and green in this case. So even if you do not know the value for green, it was not even a matter of fact because the, one, the counters that we are picking in this case, it is supposed to be one of the counter here is red. Remember here, one of the counter is red and the other one is blue. We are not told about the order. We just need a condition where we have got a red and a blue counter. So if we are to check this, we are going to see where we have got red and a blue on our outcomes. We've got this one, there is red here, there is blue. And also here, we've got blue and red, which means we've got red and blue. There is no other part that we have uh, red and blue. So meaning to say the outcome here was going to be the probability of red blue, the first one. Uh, red blue plus the last one the probability of uh, blue red so if you actually know the idea of this problem you don't even need this tree diagram once you're talking about two colors that are happening you know that the first one can be red the second one blue the other one can we can start with blue followed by red and you know that your probabilities they do not change so there's no need for us to even have this but uh, this is for the sake of revision so you know that along a red, blue, whenever I talk about this, you're going to multiply. So this one is red uh, versus blue along the deck, along the branch, you're going to multiply. That's 0, 0,2 and what? 0, 0,5. So you've got 0, 0,2 times 0, 0,5 plus the probability of blue, red. So we move on to the blue, red in this one, uh, which is now 0, 0,5 and what? Uh, 0, 0,2. So you're going to multiply 0, 0,5 times uh, 0, 0,2. So if we multiply this, we're gonna get 0, 0,1, uh, which is the same. These are same values, just that they are being exchanged. So we are going to have 0, 0,1 again, and we add to obtain uh, 0, 0,2, which you can write as two over 10, which will be one over five. But once you are given your probabilities as decimals, just maintain the same way you are given. If you are given probabilities as fractions, maintain them as fractions. But what you simply need to understand is that the probabilities when they are referred to the diagram, all this branch, everything along this branch, if you add these values, the probabilities, they must give you a one. The same thing, if you go to this branch, if you add everything here, you must get a one. That is uh, to make sure that your probability is truly uh, at the exact point where it must at one. Everything that you are given, the probability of something happening and not happening, should add up to one. So that is the idea there. So these are the typical questions. Let's revise uh, towards our exams.